Okay. Great recording. Well done. Thanks. Um, so we're told un is 5 to the n plus 2 to the n minus 1. Find u1, u2, and u3. Subbing in the numbers. u1 is 5 plus 2 to the 0. So that I would make as being 6. That is right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> u2 would be 5 squared plus 2 to the 1. So that's 25 plus 2, so that's 27. Now, we found u2, yeah. but we still haven't found what we're looking for. <laughs> so u3. Thanks. Thank you. I know. so many Would be uh, 5 cubed plus 2 squared, so that's... 1, 2, 5, plus 4, so 129. And lots of you wrote 6, 27, 1, 2, 9. You just wrote the answers and got all the marks. Right. 2. Hence suggest a positive integer other than 1, which divides exactly into every term of the sequence. Well, what divides into every one of those three terms? 3. That's it. There we go. We've just picked up the three marks that most people picked up. By considering, now look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> By considering un plus 1 plus un. So you would have to be crazy to not immediately write down un plus 1 plus un, because it's flagged up that that's what you need to do. So before we even read the rest of the question, I am going to consider un plus 1 plus un, because that's, that's quite important. Now, un plus 1 plus un is going to be 5 to the n plus 1 plus 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1, so that's 2 to the n, plus un, so plus 5 to the n plus 2 to the n minus 1. Now, um, again, I look at that and I think, I'm, there's no way I'm leaving it like that, because I can, you know, when we write something, our instinct is to collect together like terms and do something with it. It's 5 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the n plus 2 to the n plus 2 to the n minus 1. Now, these two terms here, we can do some factorising with these, can't we? This here has a common factor of 5 to the n. In fact, what I'm going to do before I write that, I'm going to write that as 5 to the n times 5, and that's 5 to the n. And, and over here, well, I'm going to keep this as being 2 to the n minus 1. This is 2 to the n minus 1 times 2. And this is 2 to the n minus 1. So if I take out my common factors, this is 5 to the n, brackets, 5 plus 1. And this is 2 to the n minus 1, brackets, 2 plus 1. So we've got 6 lots of 5 to the n plus 3 looks off, 2 to the n minus 1. Ah, that's interesting, because 6 and 3 are also both multiples of 3. What did the question actually want me to do? I've considered un plus 1 plus un, as it asked me to. Prove by induction that your suggestion in part 2 is correct. Right, I need to prove by induction that... Uh, everything in this sequence is divisible by 3. Well, I've, I've already actually checked in U1. U1 we got as being, what was it? 6. Was it 6? Um, which equals 2 times 3, therefore multiple of 3. So now I'm going to assume that um, UK is multiple of 3. Now I'm going to consider u k plus 1. And, uh, and u k plus 1, what do I do with this? Um, so I need to show that this is u k plus 1 is equal to um, oh well actually u k plus 1 is involved up here isn't it? un plus 1 plus un. So uk plus 1 is what I get if I take un away from that lot. So I'm going to call that 1. And from 1, 
from that statement there, uk plus 1 is equal to 6 times 5 to the n plus 3 times 2 to the n minus 1, take away mu n. Okay? And, and we're pretty much there, actually, with that. This bit here is 3 times 2 lots of 5 to the n plus 2 to the n minus 1. So that's divisible by that. 3 minus un, which is divisible by 3. Um, which is all as, as u, that should be a k, shouldn't it? UK, UK. As UK so K is. is a multiple of 3. They should all be k's, you're right. Yeah. Therefore, uk plus 1 is a multiple of 3. Because I'm subtracting a multiple of 3 from a multiple of 3, which will give me a multiple of 3. And now we just need to finish off with our statement at the end of it. Um, u1 is a multiple of 3. If uk is a multiple of 3, then uk plus 1 is a multiple of 3. Hence, by mathematical induction, UN is a multiple of three. <coughs> For all integer n greater than or equal to one, can we show that it was true for one? And that's it. It was all about, it was all about this bit here, un plus 1 plus un, and showing that that was a multiple of 3. It wasn't enough just to write it, you actually had to do something with it, because you were aiming for it being a multiple of 3. And that's that, and that's maths.